Hello, I am Zarkoon, this is World of Warships Legends, and today I bring you a most peculiar game in the Tier 6 French destroyer Les Terribles, or Les Terrible. This is not a high damage game at all, but it is a relatively high XP game, and it's a weird one, as games that result in solo warriors often are. This is only the second solo warrior I've ever gotten out of 4,200 battles in this game. And the first one was in an Akatsuki, also a tier 6 destroyer, on a capture the base mode game where the entire enemy team plowed right through my team. But with my excellent concealment, I was able to sneak past them, get into their base, and secure the cap before any of them were able to turn around and come back and defend it. And that was against six enemy ships. This is going to end against four enemy ships. Now, Le Terrible, which is much easier for me to say than Le Terrible, so forgive me for butchering the pronunciation, but Le Terrible here does not come equipped with a smoke screen. It's got two consumables only damage control and speed boost, which means you have to be extremely conscious of your detectability range in the ship. On my build, it's 5.6, so I am going to be in a position where there are a lot of enemy ships left around that could take me out, and I am going to have to avoid being taken out by them. But first and foremost, I am doing my primary job as a destroyer, which is securing this cap. This is the Bravo cap. As you can see, I am the only destroyer on my team, and it does not look like any of the friendly ships are interested in going to either of the other caps. But wait, what is this? The game appears to be frozen. Oh, and look at that. We've been kicked out, booted off, server issues, huge disaster. Well, this is a division game if you hadn't noticed. I was with the Monk 52 you might recognize that name because I've featured some of his games as Community Replays, and Miss Yamato. So, as I am frantically trying to load back into the game here, the two of them are just going to have to hold down the fort for me. And luckily, I believe I did succeed in capturing that Bravo Cap, so now, as we load back into the game here. We should find that hopefully things are okay and I haven't died. Spoiler alert, I haven't died because this game does end in a solo warrior for me. And I think the fact that I <laughs> logged out here, got kicked off the server, makes that all the more peculiar. But as you can see, I am back and I am ready to enter the Charlie Cap. Looks like my teammates have anticipated me and started trying to flip the cap. Unfortunately, the friendly ship inside of it appears to be a battleship, highly visible target, which will be shot at by any of the enemy ships that can see him, which are all of them, and therefore reset his capture progress and make it very difficult to secure this cap. But if I get on it, and I remain unspotted, I should be able to help him out. Pensacola over there, hiding behind an island, and a Byron coming this way, who looks like he might possibly be threatening to peek around that corner. Maybe not. Oh wait, that's the Pensacola I'm locked onto. What am I saying? Oh, I'm spotted. What could that be? Oh, it's gone now. Enemy destroyer around here? I honestly can't remember. Haven't watched this battle back before making this commentary. In any case, the cap is 10 seconds away from being secured. Trying to sneak some shots over the island here. See if that gets me spotted. It does. Could be that the Pensacola has a line of sight on me over that little ridge in the island there. He certainly has shots on me. The shells do travel over the island. Some of them hit me for minimal damage and that's okay. Just gonna lay down a little bit of fire over the island, try to see what damage I can farm off of these guys, but of course my goal 
is primarily to secure this cap. I am five seconds away from doing so. Looks like Monk takes down the enemy Kagero, leaving me as the only destroyer left in the game, which gives me an outsized influence. And of course, I am capable as a destroyer of inflicting tons and tons of damage on the enemy ships, but most of the time in domination mode games, it's going to come down to caps. You can certainly win by killing all of the ships, but I think nine times out of ten, you're going to win on points based on the number of caps you have secured. Unless, of course, you secure no caps and the enemy team is composed entirely of brainless potatoes that sail straight into the fray of everything, sort of like bots, and get themselves killed. This enemy team is not one of those, funnily enough for me. Anyway, I've already secured one cap by myself. I've assisted in securing the other. The enemy team appears to be spread out. That Byron doesn't look like he's really worth my time. So I'm sailing out here, I think, with the intention of going all the way across the map for two reasons. Number one, the alpha cap is held by the enemies. Number two, it appears that there is a large concentration of battleships in the area that may be ripe for torpedoing. So I am headed that way. And indeed, there are two battleships in the area, one sailing off into the distance on my starboard side there. Maybe that's a cruiser, actually. And he is, you know, taking himself out of the fight. We've got most of my team clustered up behind me, and I'm sort of going in, kind of leading the charge, looking for opportunities to send torpedoes the way of these battleships. It's just too bad that none of them are sailing in the direction I require them to sail in order to torpedo them, except for this Synop, who appears to be making a turn. So I release the torpedoes, even though my goal is not necessarily to kill any of these ships, but to get around them and to enter the Charlie Cap. You can see right now that my team has almost double the points of the enemy team here, but you will be surprised, maybe you won't be surprised if you are a regular player of this game, just how quickly that situation can be turned around. And it looks like I am very near a Belfast. That was the cruiser sailing off into the distance. Very scary for me. Of course, the Belfast is equipped with radar. I am a particularly quick destroyer. But, you know, no destroyer is quite quick enough to outrun the radar of a Belfast should it choose to deploy it when you're seven kilometers away from him. And I am in a little bit of a sticky spot where I've got multiple ships on the edge of my detectability radius. You see the blue circle on the minimap. We've got a couple ships that are almost touching it. So I've turned around now. I do not want to get anywhere near that Belfast. Should he choose to pop radar, things are going to go poorly for me. At the same time, La Galassonaire over here is also a pretty big danger to me light cruiser with fairly quick firing guns, HE shells that can rip through my hull and cause carnage. So now I find myself back in the Bravo cap. Looks like I am going to attempt to finish off this synop. And you can see as the moments have passed and the friendly ships have been sent to the bottom of the ocean, the gap between my points or my team's points and the enemy team's points has closed significantly. We are now within roughly 60 points 
of each other. And if just another one of my ships goes down, or another two, well, then they might have the lead. But, of course, we have the cap advantage, and that is the most important part. They can kill all of the friendly ships they want, but if they don't secure any of these caps, then they're still going to have a hard time winning, and it looks like there may be an opening now for me to enter the Charlie Cap, although that New Mexico is getting dangerously close. I said my detectability range is 5.6 kilometers. He's within about 6 kilometers. And, you know, my philosophy on these destroyers when you're trying to be stealthy is have a range in mind where you are, where, you know, where you're going to turn around. Luckily, we don't have to. Those torps did hit the New Mexico. They sunk him. I've done a grand total of 22,000 damage, breaking records here, as I do. And, you know, there are three friendly ships left versus five enemies. So you can see how the ship count has changed dramatically. La Galassonaire over there is basically my arch nemesis at this point. I don't know how successful I will be in trying to take this capture circle with him so close. But taking this capture circle is pretty much what I need to do to give myself the best chance possible to win this game. Because who knows how long two friendly battleships can survive. Obviously, this is more of a two versus five fight, since the battleships are spotted and I am not. Now, the Belfast is still alive, still full health, and possibly inclined to start approaching this Charlie Cap, since presumably he has noticed it is being taken from his team. Although, maybe he hasn't noticed it. Maybe I spoke too soon, because it doesn't look like he is headed this way. It could be that he is worried about the friendly battleship that's sort of behind me. Looks like that guy could get shots on that Belfast. And, you know, one of the friendly battleships does go down. It's now 680, or 691 points to 671. Enemy team is pretty close, but we have secured all three capture points. The enemy is not getting any points now, except for sinking ships. Now, they are on the Bravo cap, and they are flipping it. There's one single battleship left, and I want to delay them in flipping it. It looks to me like there are battleships on this cap, and... I may potentially be able to torpedo them and sink them, but if I get on the cap, I can certainly stop them, now that they flipped it, from getting any points from it, allow my team's points lead to continue to grow, and hopefully take some of these guys out to contribute to that points lead. Synop out there is a prime target. He's barely got any health left. He's essentially dead to begin with right now anyway, but I am turning away from him. I don't want to be spotted. I don't want to risk it. Even though they have flipped this cap, they are not accruing any points from it thanks to my presence here. And finally, the last friendly battleship goes down, leaving me as the last hope. I take down the Synop. And now it is just time for me, with less than a minute left on the clock, to run away, not get spotted, and not go chasing after damage. I can live with 26,000 damage done. Not a lot, but the damage is essentially irrelevant here. I have secured, throughout the course of this game, three capture points. And because I did that, even though the enemy is now busy flipping Alpha, with such little time, or so few seconds left on the clock, this is going to end in a guaranteed win for my team, even though all of them went down except for me. 
So now you see the importance, I hope, of the capture points. And, you know, when you're in a destroyer, go out there and get those. Anyway, the game's about to end with a solo warrior. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel if you have not done that already. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your support, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.